before we start make sure you subscribe and hit the bell icon so you will get notified for the next video thank you all right welcome back everyone to part four of autogen video series if you haven't checked previous parts make sure you do so because especially in part one i totally explain what is autogen which is a recent open source library developed by microsoft for enabling multi-agent llm applications let's make it simple that means instead of one let's say gpt instance to answer your questions you will have more than one several gpt agents and bots each of them with different expertise to resolve a task or create your LLM application. With what, with part one, two, three, we talked about the autogen, we created some samples, we were able to create chatbots with multiple agents for different tasks, even talking with streaming data for uh, giving us investment analysis, investment hints, uh, talking about the stock markets with connected to stream data. But here what we're going to do, we're going to create another multi-agent group chat, this time for research purposes, again as an example. So what we need to do, again I'm running this in Pythonic environment, but in Google Colab, it can be running on any place that you have Python. Just make sure you install uh, Autogen. So, I add this code and reference code again to the Discord channel on the reference section. You can click on the Discord channel video description below and you can get access to the to the code. So, after installing PyAutogen, you need to make sure you had your OpenAI credentials, which is my LLM choice here, added to the code for sure. So. You can do that through, again, I repeat this part in all parts, so I skip that quickly, but you can have them in a JSON file, or you can add your OpenAI credentials as an environment variable, right? For example, here's a config list, looks like when it, it's in the JSON file. So make sure you add your API key stuff, and you're good to go. So now, when we have these credentials, and now we have also installed Autogen, we can leverage it. So for this purpose, what I'm going to do, I'm going to create an LLM application that does research for me. But not just using ChatGPT. I want to have multiple agents. They each do something. They generate code, execute code, connect to internet, grab some information. So let's see what they're going to do. So I'm not talking about Autogen again. We already explained that in part one. But what I'm going to do, I'm going to first create my first agent in this multi-agent LLM application, which is an admin. Consider this the one that interacts with me, a human admin. This is the one that received my question stuff that I'm going to ask the question and going to interact with the planner and some other agents to do their work. But what other agents we have? We have an engineer here. It's not a human agent. It's, uh, it's actually a GPT agent. Here we're using GPT-4. That It's an engineer. But what it does, it actually receives a plan that a planner will create. We're going to talk about who is the planner shortly. But as an engineer, it just writes codes. It writes codes, check out the codes. If there's any bug, if the code is not running, it will recreate the code, check the execution re results, and... Uh, so it will send the code to executor for actually executing the code, but it will check the result of that. And if there's any error, it fixes it and generate a, a revised code. Again, this is an engineer. There is another agent, which is scientist. So what scientist is going to do, it will follow up a plan, a follow -up plan that planner create, and it will, it's a scientist, it knows the context of the papers and stuff, so it categorizes the papers based on a scientific knowledge. It doesn't write any code. And what's the plan? This is the one that create the plan of the steps we're going to follow. So it will suggest this is the plan we need to do. The engineer will do this. The scientist will do this. The other user do this. Executor, you do this. So this is sort of a planner for us that other people follow it. Other agents only follow it. The other one is executor. This is the one that execute the codes written by the engineer. And lastly, we have another agent, which is this agent just criticize. It will double check the plan, the codes, the everything, and it will criticize if there's something wrong. That's it. You see how many agents I am defining here with, for example, GPT-4 stuff? So let's see how it works. Now I want to start asking questions. I want to say, hey, find papers on LLM applications from RxIV in the last week and create a markdown table for different domains. You see, this is not a typical chat GPT question. This needs to connect to internet, grab some information, summarize it for us. That's how you see all these agents going to work for me to answer this question. So what's going to happen? This is a question that admin sent. 
and planner come here to define a plan here so it says that okay engineer will write a code a python code that go to this website to grab the relevant papers to llm and then scientists will review those results and check out the engineer will modify the code in case needed scientists will review the markdown table again which is the result of those abstracts of the papers again engineer might make some suggestions finally scientists will give the final approval of the, the summary that we ask here and then the critic comes here to see the plan defined and make some suggestion so a critic agent came and see that okay the plan seems to be good one to seven but it lacks of blah 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 and it starts to revise the plan you see that's a little bit revised plan now what's going to be happening here okay critic said that this is the revised plan let's go so engineer gonna start the work write a script to track this is the first step that's why you see the engineer came in here and it generated a python code for us to get connect to the website and grab the papers relevant to LLM application but it might be some errors and mistake in the code it go and and there you go Ref, uh, revise itself for example there was an error in the code but that's okay the engineer revised the code again and seems that this time it is working because I can see the abstract of the papers coming in with the URL of that paper paper one paper two three four so on and so forth right okay now scientists said that okay I have the abstract let me check out the abstract and all these URLs and stuff that engineer provided to me and me as a scientist I will make that final table which I gonna have the domain title author and summary of the paper to give it to the final end user which is me here so here's the scientist answer and finally the critic gonna f criticize the final answer which told me that oh the scientist has done a good job so it seems to be an okay answer that's why it didn't continue so this is the final answer I got so what I did with just a single line of text here that was my question all these agents came to this scenario to create this plan and execute the task execute some codes and finally I just saw this you could have hide all the process I wanted to show you how they look like but this is the final answer you got so again these use cases and examples that I provide you walk through are just an excuse to trigger your brain for all of possibilities and how you can modify and enable these ideas in your own projects use cases domain company and, and knowledge whatever make sure you take the advantage and just i'm hoping that with these videos and walkthroughs and samples i am triggering your brain on this is another level of capability that you can achieve and sky's the limit join the discord channel discord your ideas and projects let's build up the community and have other people's suggestions but definitely make sure you grab this trend and make an impact for all of us i hope you enjoyed this video and stay tuned for upcoming parts of autogen that will be posted in my channel thank you